Um, where, where should I start? Um, maybe by saying that climate vulnerability or, or climate change is very much related to how much information do we have available. And, and that is the, the, the big nexus between digitalization and climate change. Uh, as we all know, uh, climate variability is very different depending on the context in which you are working. So, for instance, the conditions of what you mentioned, hurricanes in Central America uh, might have some conditions for Central American producers, but in East Africa, the, the issue may be not more, not just about a heavy um, a weather events, but it could be more related to droughts or floods or, or heats. Uh, the Brazilians are always complaining about frosting when, when the temperature gets too high. So it con climate change will be very um, aligned with the context. And, and then that is very important to understand. And then that's the, base, the, the, the first thing, you know, that data and information, how we can transform information into decisions to see what type of solutions then we can prioritize and then analyze the enabling and disenabling factors for those uh, solutions to really be scalable. And then in regards to data, uh, there's maybe three main aspects in which we should focus our attention. The first is climate forecasts how to integrate meteorological information into our decision-making processes and understanding, for instance, which lands are going to be suitable according to the different forecasts, uh, understand, for instance, the, the average change in precipitation according to the different uh, years. So how we can integrate meteorological information and weather forecast into our uh, systems it's, it's one of the uh, ways to uh, integrate digitalization with climate change. The other is about the gaps, the knowledge gaps that we have, uh, which agricultural practices are more suitable according to my conditions. If I, should, uh, if I choose, for instance, agroecology, or if I choose um, uh, regenerative agriculture, what, what is better for me according to my conditions? And then there's a lot of websites and a lot of information available uh, on web that can help us to get a better insight of filling those gaps. And the third is about governance and how decisions can be taken, especially at farm level, but in, in producer organizations, how this information can be integrated in uh, internal management system, internal data management systems. Uh, and well, to move forward, to move ahead with, with the solutions. Uh, some of the uh, ideas that have been popping up in the past years, for instance, with this issue of um, forecast and weather forecast, the International Research Institute for Climate and Society of the Columbia University is testing the integration of meteorological information with uh, coffee decision makers in countries like Vietnam, Ethiopia, Colombia, and Guatemala. There's a good example there. In terms of understanding the gaps and the, the potential solutions, actors like coffee and climate have toolboxes available online that can be feeding this a little bit more, but there's other actors like SIAT that has very comprehensive uh, atlas analysis, maps, risk diagnosis, diagnosis tools, everything also available on web. And on regards to uh, climate governance, uh, what is being seen now is how to integrate, for instance, open data kits or different apps to collect data and analyze the data and put that data under different layers in, 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 in geo maps, no? for instance, the two examples that pops to my mind, one is the geo footprinting. There's a, a, a website that analyzes the carbon footprint of the whole value chain uh, using tools like the Kufan tool as a baseline to uh, calculate uh, the, the amount of uh, emissions. But other tools available are, for instance, intelligence that 
give you also an analysis how to make, for instance, deforestation free commodities reality. Now, to finalize, uh, all the things that can be do uh, with climate change and digitalization is communicate better your story and communicate better your performance. And maybe the best example that comes to my mind is what, what NAMA in Costa Rica, the coffee NAMA in Costa Rica have done using data from, from mitigation to climate change in the coffee sector, integrate data, uh, integrate that data with social data and put that everything in, in, in different Q codes uh, across the chain in, in different communication media, uh, QR codes, uh, YouTube channel, uh, in social media, and then communicate to the final consumer what has been the climate responsibility of that product. And that is another way to integrate uh, digitalization, I think, in, in this nexus with climate change. 